Hey guys, welcome back to the Laser Engraving Professor YouTube channel. Um, today's video will be a uh, beginner tutorial on Laser Gerbil. Uh, this will be part one. So before we get started, I have three um, super important tips for um, laser engraving in general. So the first step is very important. It's to make sure that your computer is not in sleep mode or can be put into sleep mode because let's see your laser this is gonna take you about an hour to do the engraving after about 20 minutes most computers have sleep mode on so if you don't interact with the computer for 20 minutes it will enter sleep mode and it will mess up your laser engraving it will just put your computer to sleep and will freeze the laser so how to turn this off you go here just click on the little search bar, type settings. Then in find a setting, just type sleep, power and sleep settings. Uh, mine is set 10 minutes. Select to never and select to never. Uh, that will ensure that your computer does not enter sleep mode. All right, guys, now on to step two is crop the image you want to laser engrave before lasering. So click on file, click on the image you want, or right click on the image you want to um, laser engrave, select open, uh, click up here on the left, uh, edit image, and then you can slide these arrows and make sure that it's as close to the image you want, that you want to um, engrave and you have nothing you don't have any border around it so it looks kind of like this let's say I just want this dog in there this will ensure that when I'm lasering that when I go to frame the image later in laser gerbil it doesn't have a whole bunch of stuff around it and it gives you an accurate um, frame to see what's actually going to be inside of the box you're lasering. It doesn't have a whole large gap of empty space. And then you just click uh, save and save. Then your image should be cropped and ready to edit or ready to engrave. Step three would be prepping your image for engraving. If you have questions on how to do that, um, there should be a photo pop-up or a video pop-up in your right-hand corner right now. Click on that and it will show you how to uh, increase the quality of your photo for engraving. Alright guys, now it's tutorial time. So let's get on with it. Um, so a lot of settings here are actually not very useful for the average person just trying to laser engrave stuff. Um, so I'll let you guys know what I know and hopefully this helps you guys or helps somebody. So up here, right above my cursor, there is a lightning bolt. That is the connection button. So once you have plugged in your laser all into the back of the computer and plugged it in, you click this and it will connect your laser gerbil to the laser. Um, okay, so now let's move down here to these arrows. Uh, these arrows will move the head of the laser either up, down, side, side. So with that and the globe with the um, direction thingy, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, once you move the head of the laser to where you want to have it on the board or whatever you're trying to uh, engrave, you click the globe and that's pretty much the home so it knows that that is now the default spot for the laser head so once you click frame to frame your image to show where the engraving is going to actually go on the surface it will always go back to the position where you click the globe last all right now on to the the walking guy and the stop. 
so that's just go stop. I don't suggest clicking any of these unless you absolutely have to. Um, if you click stop, it I find it slightly jolts the laser and will throw it off. So if you have to click stop, the your engraving is going to look off. It's going to kind of ruin it. So you don't want to have to click any of these unless it's an emergency. Um, you might be wondering what the lightning bolt is here. The house, the lock, the center, the corner of the focus, the blank. I've never used any of those settings in my life. So I don't think they're very important. So let's head up here to file. This area is where you're going to uh, import your image. So let's use the image we used earlier, which was, I think, this one. Yep. So this is the photo of the dog you guys seen earlier. So the reason why we cut it out um, like this, this is maybe easier to explain now, is when you click frame, it's framing your whole image so if you have a whole bunch of extra space to the sides it doesn't know that's something that you don't want to laser engrave so once you trim it there's not really anything for the laser to get confused about and you're going to see the framing process just go up the side here and it there's not really anywhere for it to make a mistake so onto these settings here i stick with smooth um, simple and the brightness here you're gonna to want to change this depending on your photo sometimes you're gonna to want to make it darker to see more detail and lighter to see less detail uh, contrast you kind of just mix the contrast and brightness together to try to figure out the best mix and whatever gives you the most um, uh, detail in the photo white clipping is Pretty much all this pink here is stuff that the laser cannot see. So when you're lasering, all the areas that are pink will not actually be lasered. It can The pink is stuff that the laser cannot see. So if you make the image lighter, the more pink it's going to have, which the laser can't see. And the darker you make it, then there's no pink. So it's going to have all of this. Just these gray areas will be gray and the dark areas will be darker so the laser will be weaker here and darker and stronger in the dark areas so i stick with these top two uh line to line and one bit line to line is the laser goes uh, across the entire image and goes uh, onto the image you want lasers and then goes back and forth which takes a long time, but gives you a lot of good detail. And uh, one bit is just the laser turning on and off a whole bunch um, to each one of these little dots, which they could be used for different purposes and for different images that might look better and sometimes it might look worse. So I don't use these three down here. Uh, never have, I just don't see a reason to. They just never look good for me. Uh, just keep this the same as you see here. We'll uh, do horizontal and quality. We want uh, 20. So you just, let's see, I think it starts off at 10. So you just type 20, click enter, and it will, that's the max quality. I don't know why you'd want anything less than that. Uh, these here are very important. These little hands that rotate. So when you're framing the image, you'll see a, uh, a little thing go up the side to show you where and what direction the image is going to be laser engraved onto the surface and if you need the image to be tilted like let's say like this or upside down um, you'll need to do this before lasering because it won't be in the right direction when you're trying to uh, put it onto the surface so let's click next so for the engraving speed, um, this really uh, determines on how 
dense your wood is. If it's super dense, then you're going to want a lower speed. And if it's less dense, you're going to want a faster speed so it doesn't pierce too deep into the wood or burn the wood. Um, or it depends on how much or how deep you do want it into the wood. So if it's really dense and you want to have a deep uh, smoky look, you could have it lower. Or if you want to have just like a slight um, slight engravement into something, you could have the speed uh, faster. So I keep it on consistent power. I keep um, minimum at zero, maximum at 1,000. I don't click auto because you're going to want to change the size of the image depending on where you want it on the surface you're engraving. Uh, offset, I don't touch that. Click create. Take a second to load. So the first thing you noticed probably at the bottom here is that the estimated time, hour and 45 minutes. Let's say that's too long for you. You could always take out some detail by turning up the, um, by turn, if you click file and you go back to uh, reload last file, if you increase the brightness that allows more white clipping, so you could really see here, it's going to be, the laser is going to be used less. So if you keep the same size, I'll show you the time again. So we went down almost an hour by just changing some detail and I mean getting rid of some dots or just uh, getting rid of some things. So you could, if you're really worried about time, you could also just change, change the brightness, change the white clipping and try to get it so the laser is doing less, depending if that's a big worry for you or you care more about the detail into the um, photo or into the engraving, engravement. Uh, so guys, um, that's my tutorial for today. This is part one of most likely a five part um, series. So if I miss something in this video, please comment and I could go more into depth into that um, one subject. And if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.